Hi, I'm Andrea, and some of my summer field work was spent watching these guys. Keep your eyes. Oh! I am the master student working on the WAVE project, which aims to understand well-watching vessel behavior through automatic identification systems, or AIS for short. This project wouldn't be possible without MIOPAR and Exact Earth. AIS use VHF signals to transmit a message to AIS receivers and other vessels nearby. These messages contain the vessel's position, kinematics, and other pertinent vessel information. This animated map shows a whale watching trip out of the Victoria Harbour with probable wildlife viewing in yellow and transiting in blue. We can't quite define whether a vessel is watching a whale or watching other wildlife yet. The whale watching tours that I went on this summer were incredibly useful. Not only did they provide a broader understanding into the spatial temporal pattern of whale watching, but they also provided me with GPS ground truth data to compare to the AIS, and they debunked some of our assumptions. For example, I assumed that when a whale watching tour was visiting the Race Rocks Natural Reserve, that they were observing seals and sea lions. This is a common stop in many Victoria-based tours, but on one of my tours, we spent our time at Race Rocks observing a humpback feeding in the current. As suspected, these tours confirm that whale watching vessel patterns can be broken down using speed over ground into wildlife viewing and transiting. My goal is to determine the best way to model whale watching vessel behavior using AIS data, and the preliminary work suggests that the speed distribution for wildlife viewing is distinctive from transiting. Therefore, it is a key component in modeling whale watching vessel behavior. Thank you to our funders, our partners, and the project team for making this possible.